New Zealand with some very, very good competitors as well. It is a start list that is packed. Guys behind him, not giving up, but Garrett Thomas, Jack Bauer. Fails to take the bottle. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, and again, Swanjo is getting it awfully wrong. Some tired arms as well from the riders at this stage as well. So three hours and nine minutes in the saddle. 126.2 kilometers ridden. Bauer, Waits, and Thomas lead the race. At last lap, 21 minutes, 24. This is Calibium again. Take oh, two bottles go. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Nobody able to pick anything up. Everybody's tired. Hands are greasy, wet. It's not a nice position to be in. And even the Swaniers don't want to be out there in this weather as well. Caleb, you won't want to do one lap without anything to drink. So it'd be interesting to see if the 27 seconds. Caleb Ewan looking very, very tired indeed. And next across the line, be the two English riders. Cross Downing there. The Grove for Wales. Tom Moses as well with Pete Kenyon on their wheel, staying in there for the minute. Heroic ride. And here comes Simon Clark with uh, Mark Renshaw. Doesn't look like they've given up yet today. They still want to make their way back and get back into the race. A long way to go yet. Still a minute and five is the gap. And if Clark can do a job for Mark Renshaw, you never know. Craven is there. Miller as well. Tom Scully for New Zealand. Oh, that didn't sound good. That did not sound good. Really hope that that's not what we think it is. Oh, it is. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Sounded absolutely awful in the effects microphone. That's Dan Craven of Namibia. Dan Craven of Namibia going into the. So one win for Garrett Thomas this year in terms of doing it on the road. A road stage though, it was a time trial, and then of course he took that overall down at the. And here we go, Thomas has gone. Thomas attacks the first one to light it up. We've been waiting for this moment. And the Welshman obviously decides that he has the power to beat. Thomas then on the climb out to the West End wants to do the last 11 and a half kilometers on his own. He knows he has the beating of them and this could be a big move, Rochelle. Well, when he looked back there, he got a little bit extra motivation. He's got the experience and he looked like he had the form. His face was quite relaxed. He looked like he was comfortable. And when he looked behind there and he saw faces being pulled of these two riders, gave him that little bit extra kick. You saw that he he looked behind him, he saw the gap, and he went again. So this is this looks like it could be the race for Garrett Thomas. Well, he's made his move now, he's committed. He can't do anything but follow through now. Garrett Thomas is there. Jack Bauer, who's also got one win this year, remember? He won the prologue at the Herald Sun Tour. One of the more minor Australian races. Not up there with the Tour Down Under, but still prestigious for Australian racing down there. Second at the Kiwi Championships as well this year, Jack Bauer. Eight seconds already for Garrett Thomas, and this looks like a very good move. Well, that's a pretty handy gap already. That goes to show that he's got the better legs of these three, and it's going to be a very, very special moment if he comes in for the gold medal. How do you motivate yourself if you're one of these two now who know that there are medals up for, for, up for grabs, know that it's, you know, a prestigious silver medal at the Commonwealth Games. Oh, oh we've oh, got we're an having issue a problem. Here. We're having a real problem. Oh, no. Well, well, well. Geraint Thomas, Geraint Thomas, who has been away, who's been so strong, is in real danger. Maybe we spoke too soon. Stop to change his front wheel. No team. He's having to get the neutral service bike to help him. And this is the excitement that we were waiting for. Geraint Thomas is going to have to work again here. How much of a gap is he going to have? Is he still going to have? The motorbike's been moved out the way now. The gap is that close. And behind, they're going to get the surprise of their life here. They are going to get the surprise of their life. Geraint Thomas is going to be seen on the side of the road, maybe. And could there be some racing yet, Russia? This is unbelievable bad luck for Geraint Thomas. That was the longest wheel change he's ever going to have in his life. He's back on the road. He's still in the lead. He needs to get out of sight, out of sight very, very quickly. The adrenaline will be pumping now. That is amazing that that just happened. Still has 20 seconds. As long as he rides safely, as long as there's no other problems, it's panic over. But what a panic it was. 
One kilometre to go. Last kilometre for Geraint Thomas in this Commonwealth Games Road Race 2014. He has the victory in the bag. He has 30 seconds plus on those behind. Team Car is in there. Motorbike is in there. There's no worry about the gap. It's just about staying upright and crowning what has been a superb, patient, mature and classy performance from the Welshman. Ridden the perfect race and done a lot of hard work. Very, very deserving winner. Look at all this standing water behind Jack Power and Scott Quaid. A look behind from Geraint Thomas. He knows it's his moment. Final corner coming up and he's going to get a chance to enjoy this, to appreciate it. He said he loves racing for Wales. He's never had a Commonwealth girl before and this is his moment. This is his time and at home in the United Kingdom punches the air. He knows it. He's got it. It's going to be victory for Wales. Victory for Geraint Thomas. He wins the Commonwealth Games road race. What a performance. Thomas showing his class, showing his patience, showing he has all the attributes. And this is a very proud moment for a very proud Welshman. Geraint Thomas is Commonwealth champion. So this is going to be an exciting sprint between these two. Silver and bronze coming up. New Zealand in the box seat. The quicker sprinter here, without doubt, is Scott Waits. But what do they have left? Waits behind for England. What a day it's been for England as well as they took gold and silver in the women's race. What can they do here? Waits is going to take it on, goes to the front. What's the best position to be in here? Well, it's personal preference. I personally like to be behind, but it depends what the strengths are of each of the riders. One final quarter to come, and the sprint's going to be launched well into that final straight. Does Jack Power have it takes to surprise him in the final quarter? No, stays on the wheel, waits. And he's going to try and make Scott Waits lead the sprint out. Waits looking behind, trying to stay vigilant. Such a hard position to be in in the front. The Englishman is there in red and white. It's the Kiwi all in black behind. Jack Power waits, smiles and goes. Oh, and it's Scott Waits. He leads it from the front. Thwaites is going, Bauer is coming round on the wheel though, Thwaites is there on the right hand side in the red, Bauer hits the front, it's Bauer who takes it, Bauer in silver, and it's Thwaites in bronze, Thomas gold, Bauer silver, Thwaites bronze, Wales, New Zealand and England again on the podium. An epic day, an epic race, question is how many finishes will there be? Jack Bauer finally winning a sprint after losing out the Tour de France. This time it was for silver. Look how much it's taken out of it. Well, it looked like he really wanted that win. He's shaking his head, but uh, he's going to be happy with that silver when he realizes what he's done. Gary Thomas winning gold against uh, Jack Bauer, who took silver at Scott Thwaites, taking bronze. Ross Downing, Mark Renshaw, Luke Rowe, Greg Henderson and Pete Kenyuk making up the top eight on the Commonwealth Games road race.